Good day, I'm Lorraine Mendez and this is your JIS News for Tuesday, August 9. The Criminal Justice Plea Negotiations and Agreement Act will be amended to aid in the speedy resolution of cases before the courts. Justice Minister Delroy Chuck says, among other things, the amendments will allow for the defense counsel, prosecutor and victims' families to be involved in the plea bargaining process. We have in mind to put in place a plea bargaining judge. So let us say in the Supreme Court, you could have a plea bargaining judge who would listen to the prosecutor and the defense counsel and come to some decision what would be an appropriate sentence if a guilty plea was entered. entered. The Justice Minister was speaking with JIS's Ian Boyne during this Sunday's Issues and Answers program. The Criminal Justice Plea Negotiations and Agreement Act was introduced in 2006 and amended in 2010. It allows persons accused of crimes to plead guilty and give testimony or information in return for a reduced penalty. Transport Minister Mike Henry has welcomed a new partnership that will provide opportunities for Jamaican students to study in Korea, specializing in areas that will serve to develop the transport sector. The Caribbean Maritime Institute and the Mokpo National Maritime University in Korea have signed a Memorandum of Understanding which will boost the CMI's offerings at the undergraduate and graduate levels. The MOU covers training in logistics, supply chain management, maritime transportation and engineering, customs process, freight forwarding and immigration. It will also facilitate staff and student exchanges, joint research with emphasis on doctoral studies and Korean language training at the CMI. Minister Henry says the partnership will create job opportunities within the shipping and maritime sectors. Over 70 patent examiners have received training to improve the pace at which application for patents are dealt with. Director General in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries Vivian Brown says the intervention will facilitate innovation and an overall improvement in the business environment. The aim is to improve and increase the speed and efficiency at which institutions can generate new ideas new products, new services, and processes, and turn them into wealth. Mr. Brown was speaking at a recent ceremony to present certificates to the trainees. The pool of examiners were certified to assess requests for patents, which give applicants the right to prevent other persons from using, selling, or making their inventions, creations, trademarks, designs, or copyrights. The training was coordinated by the Jamaica Intellectual Property Office, with financial support from the European Union. Government is partnering with milk producers to provide nutritional support to pregnant women. Expectant mothers are to receive a weekly supply of fresh cow's milk through a project that is being led by the Jamaica Dairy Development Board, JDDB. The board's deputy director, Byron Lawrence, says the project is also part of government's thrust to increase milk production in Jamaica and revitalize the dairy industry. While it is recognized that there exists in the society a level of demand for milk we think that this is not enough and so it is the intention of the board to 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 increase this demand pregnant women from select antenatal clinics will receive three liters of milk per week for three months the milk will be contributed by separate group surge island dairies jamaica beverages edwards dairy and island dairies limited the project is being introduced at the Victoria Jubilee, Linstead, Maypen General and Savannah Lamar Public General Hospitals, as well as the Oracabessa Antenatal Clinic. The first supply of milk was handed over at the Type 5 Health Centre in Montego Bay recently, and similar donations will be made at other health facilities in that parish. And finally, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has approved the opening of the 2016 game bird shooting season in keeping with the recommendations of the Natural Resources Conservation Authority, the NRCA. The game bird shooting season is regulated under the Wildlife Protection Act of 1945. Anyone caught in breach of the act can be fined up to $100,000 or imprisoned for one year. The National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, says it will be rolling out new technologies in the weekly monitoring of the shooting season to ensure continued compliance by hunters. The 2016 game bird shooting season will open on Saturday, August 20, and close on Sunday, September 25. Individuals must obtain a hunter's license, costing $15,000 from NEPA or one of the 14 authorized vendors. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Lorraine Mendez. Thanks for watching.